Hey guys, and we're back to Resident Evil Village. Now, I did have a good look down there. I can't find anything down there. I know it's still red, but... God, if I know. I've been walking around for ages trying to find something. And let me start my timer. There we go. No, don't restart. No. Thank you. Alright, yeah, not sure what that is. Maybe we'll find it later. Probably not. Now that looks like a room. Uh, another one locked from the other side. There's a lot of that in this. Locked. Oh, hi. You know at least one of these motherfuckers is going to come back. You know it. Getting s extreme um, Wolfenstein vibes here. That one's different. That one's got a different mask. Yeah. So is he like more developed than the others? He's just been turned off? I don't know. I don't know, Chief. So that leads us back here. Okay. So these things are everywhere. Okay. I'm guessing we can blast a hole. Oh, we don't have any explosives. Yes, we do. There they are. This game has definitely felt a little bit more uh, Metroidvania. I mean, I don't know if we, we have to come through here. Mechanical part cylinder? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I guess we have to do this bit. That was interesting, though. Sniper rounds, very nice. We need some big heavy hitting uh, backup generator. Missing a cog. Uh, what about this mechanical part that we found? Uh, where's that? Oh. Really? That's a treasure item? Okay. Sure, whatever you say, game. I would never would have thought that would have been a treasure item, but alright, fine. Right, so there's the backup Jenny that we need to kickstart. Let's have a little look around, shall we? It's got to be something here. So we can go up that way. And this way is locked. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up down here. I think for me, personally, this is the most fucked up place so far. It's just weird, man. Really fucking weird. Map, factory map, lower levels. Nice. Okay. We kind of needed that. Gunpowder. Getting loads of gunpowder. Still just filling our pockets with it. Mechanical Soldier. Sold at. Version 1. Fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart and implanted cadu. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cong um, cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct and then stops. Ah. Version 
zero one. Attach headgear so the to the cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brain waves. Experiment one. Lichen flight was dis ah lichen flight was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. So did he? Uh, did he feed uh, one of those lichen, flying lichens to it? I don't get that. Or was it? Yeah, that makes sense. So I guess the experiment, the prey he used to experiment with it was one of those flying guys. Okay. Uh, version 1.10. Replace lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps. Version 1.15. Implanted cattle reactor into the chest. Output greatly in cheese, uh, increased. Experiment 2. Lichen flight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability may stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. He's doing evil experiments. Cog mold. Okay. Cog mold. So, the reactor is the weak spot. Makes sense. Any of these going to come to life now? Yep. Thought as much. So the reactor is the weak spot. Makes sense. How do we get around this thing? Run. Come on you. At least they know to instinctively... Ow, this is going to hurt. To guard themselves. That's kind of. Oh god. Ah, that ended badly. Okay, we're still alive. Can we have some health, please? Thank you. Alright. That's what we need. We need a bit of distance between us. That's what we want. There we go. Shoot it in the reactor. Oh, dude. These things, though. Oh, these things. These things. Come on. Keep moving. There we go. Oh, Jesus. More cash. I like this shotgun. Yeah, I really like this shotgun. So... We need to go and, I guess, mold up a new cog. Would have been nice, though, to have... Um, some more ammo. Because ammo is becoming a bit of an issue. We could make some more. That's true. That one did look different. I, I did think that one was going to come back. Right, next. Cog mold. Good thing there's like an unlimited amount of uh, material for us to cast things with. Yep, there we go. A nice freshly cast, definitely not scalding hot cog. Okay, so let's go. Was there anything else in here? I mean, I guess like a nice big piece of treasure was cool, but so here we go, cog. Nice. Yay, now we have some light. Oh, God. Oh, Ethan. Such a disappointment. I yeah. thought we could join forces against that big Oh, grinder. hello. Yeah, well... 
you know, maybe in a different life we could have done. Don't worry, I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh god, look at this guy. Two gods, to be her children. She locked us away in the village. Two decades of being forced to stir her. Yeah. Oh god. Ow. Yep, dude, that's enough. Thank you. Good thing he can drill our organs a little bit, and we can still survive. Yeah. Yeah, this would be a lot more interesting if I could concentrate on what you're saying. Yeah. Very droll, dude. You should have never refused me, Ethan. Why? Yeah, I was gonna say, you're not looking very strong from my standpoint. How many of these beasts of yours have I taken out now? I like the way Ethan can have all of his organs drilled and be basically opened up and eviscerated and still be fine. These things are tough, though. Yeah, these things are pretty tough. Right. So, does this count as being in that room? No. It, oh. Oh, there's another one through there. Yeah, we're going to have to start switching up, I think, to more powerful weapons. Because, oh man... And apparently there's still, like, more goodies in here. Oh, that's come down now. Backup generator. Yeah, there's still goodies in here. How many of these things is he, like, producing? You know, I mean, lots. Seems to be the correct answer, but... What do we actually have? We do have some explosive rounds. Might be worth taking this out. Ah. Oh. Didn't even see that. Right. How much damage do these do? Doesn't say. She's a bit of a pisser. Right, we know there's one walking around. We might even have to start using the rifle, because it's the only thing with enough poke to do any considerable damage. Yeah, I think he's over there. He's making a load of sparks. No? So, I can't set these mines off. Which is really good to know. Take the sniper rifle ammo. Oh, hello. Now, where is that fucking thing? Where? There it is. Not sure if we hit it. Come on, you big fucking sack of shit. Come on, and again. Oh, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. There we go, and again. Keep getting those powerful slugs to hit home. Now, we don't have another mine. Okay. Those things are pretty burly, to be honest. 
Uh, right, shotgun. I'm guessing there's more of them. Would be weird if there wasn't. Flashbangs? Maybe flashbangs are good against them. Maybe. What else is in here? Ah. Oh. Not bad. Sniper rifle is a very powerful bit of kit. Happy with that. Okay. So, what's next? I'm sure I can hear another one. I'm sure I can. Yep, oh well, I mean I didn't hear another one, but... Uh, right. Come on you dickhead. That was not what I wanted to use, but you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll take it. Come on. Let's see that heart of yours. Oh, God. Missed. You don't want to miss. Really don't want to mess with these things. Right. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's see that big heart of yours. There we go. One more. I'm glad this thing's got a large magazine. Oh, God. Is he still not done? Ow! Ow, God. That was the wrong time to charge him. That was really the wrong time to charge him. I thought we could just squeeze by. I guess not. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Let's see it. Get royally fucked. I'm so glad we hoarded all these big, fat, juicy, heavy rounds. Also, the flashbangs seem to be not bad against them, to be honest. Definitely not too bad at all. Right, where does this lead? That leads into a room that we haven't been in before, so we're going to be careful. Oh. Okay, I mean, I, I guess there's some still got some shit down here, which is nice. I would like landmines. I mean, handgun ammo is good too. Handgun ammo is very good too. Ethan's definitely going to need a bit of a bandage. When we're done with this section, that's for sure. Look at all these like electrodes plugged right into your brain. Mm. So I mean, Heisenberg's motivations. Can we do anything with that? Right, we can. Heisenberg's motivations are fairly straightforward. He seems to just want to be free of Miranda who apparently imprisoned him against his own will which I guess is noble enough but he could have been a little bit oh hey friends he could have been a little bit less of a dick penis man over this way friends definitely could have been less of a dick really didn't want that to happen now, is that going to stun them or is that going to kill them? That's the question. Really? Are you fucking serious? Get off me. Get off me. Stuck. Okay. What do we have? We really don't have much. Here we go. But you notice that the game always gives you, you know, plenty to get through. You never really feel like you're in danger that you're going to have no ammo at all. Because, for instance, I should just be able to craft some more. 
And I'll find just a few more bullets in a minute. We've always got enough to get through. Always just enough. So they come back. That's good to know. I'm guessing there's another big man around here. Got to be another big man around. Surely. How do we get in there? Yeah, look, there's that dude there. Can we shoot him? Yep, I guess we've got to wake him up and he's going to smash out of here. That's quite cool. Yeah, I quite like that actually, not going to lie. Oh, fuck. Um. <laughs> Come on, dude, this way. Dude. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's the one. Let's see if we can just fill him full of these bullets for a while. <laughs> Killed him on the last bullet as well. That was lucky. Okay. Yeah, that was quite cool. I actually had to smash this place open. Good amount of scratch as well. Not bad. Is that it? Apparently not. I wonder if you shoot all of those guys, do they wake up? That's curious. That would be rather intense if you could actually fight all of those if you wanted. I mean, it would be fun as well. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, he's a double drill. He's a double drill, man. Um. Right, let's flash this guy. Oh. Okay, he apparently... Yeah, he apparently has his weakness on the back. Really didn't want to use that on him, but he looked like an extra special burly motherfucker. Still, more shotgun shells. Definitely be happy to take those off your hands. Got another door to get through there. But there's still some stuff downstairs, apparently. Okay. It is getting a little bit difficult to find everything. Because, I mean, stuff could be literally anywhere, you know? But at the same time, you don't want to leave anything behind, because it's all good stuff. There we go. Oh, a landmine. See what I mean? A landmine. That's very good. Oh, and some handgun bullets. Again, the game is just giving us what we need. And there's still more down here, apparently. God knows what else could possibly be here. Oh, nope. Nothing. Really? What else could be here then? I'd like some scrap. Because I don't think we can make any more bullets at the moment. We can't. Can make that though. I'm guessing going back here. Yeah, this takes us back into another area. A 
there's nothing here. That kind of looks a little... Ah, oh, hello. You sneaky little buggers. Sneaky little buggers. See that? Yellow quartz. Quite a valuable item. Thank you. Is that everything now, though? Yeah, cool. I was going to say, there's no way there could be anything more than that. But, you know, you never know with this game. In all fairness. Right. Let's break on through to the other side. Um, oh, this is, yeah. Hello. Let's go back and give it an actual hard save. If we can. And have a peruse the shop. See if we can do anything. I mean, it is possible that we can sell some stuff and buy some stuff. I mean, we can definitely sell some stuff. We've got large crystal, yellow quartz. Ooh, polycrystal skulls, large mechanical heart, lots of those, large crystal mechanical heart. Now that is combinable. I didn't actually realize it told you they were combinable on this screen here. That's handy. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. Uh -huh. Right, now. So. Let's upgrade. Oh, we can actually upgrade the firepower of the handgun again. But let's not do that. Let's upgrade the ammo capacity. One moment, please. So we can get some more bullets. Um... I like the idea of upgrading this some more, because this does crazy amounts of damage. And this is really going to be our main damage dealer for quite some time, I think. And we can get two extra shotgun shells if we do that. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a new shotgun then. I thought that was like a Spaz 12 or something. I was going to be like, what the fuck? And we've got the cylinder there for the wolf's bane, which we can't really use. Well, we can use it, but there's no point just yet. Um, Securing goods is more important than anything. Hmm. Anything, my friend. Actually, this rifle isn't as powerful as I thought it was. I mean, it is powerful, yes, but one moment, please. It's not doing the crazy numbers I thought. Let's max it out. Mm. Ah, that's not quite maxed out. Let's get it doing as much damage as we possibly can. Because we do seem to be falling back on this rifle quite a lot. Oh, we're actually almost out of time, guys. We literally have like a few minutes left of this video. So I'm going to end it here. And then we're going to go back into the factory. So, when we return, I uh, guess we're going to have more of these burly men to fight. Which is fine, because they drop some delicious, juicy treasure. And treasure is always good. I just wish there was uh, some more ammo to buy at this point. but Or at least it'd be cool if you could buy crafting items, I guess. Anyway, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.